So loose hinges are the most common problem that books end up with. When the hinges get loose, it puts a lot of stress on these end papers. Right now, the only thing holding this book together is this little piece of paper. So if the book gets used and opened and read, it's just a matter of time before this page rips and then you have to do a, a cover replacement or reattachment. So it's really quick, easy, and cheap to tighten up the hinges. All you need is some PVA, polyvinyl adhesive, and some barbecue skewers. That's really the, those are the only things you need to do a hinge tightening. So the first thing you do is you position your book, you hold the textbook, text block with one hand, and then use your other finger to expose the hinge like that. Then you're going to take your barbecue skewer, dip it in your glue, wipe off any excess that might want to run down, then you're going to shove your skewer down that hinge, kind of twirl it around, spin it, so you're coating up the inside of that end paper as well as the cover. Once you do the one side, do the other side. Not every book is going to have loose hinges on both sides. Sometimes you're only going to have to do one side. When you stick your skewer down, you don't want to force it. If it's getting hung up on glue that hasn't failed yet, just don't, don't force it. Let that glue stay intact. So you do one side. If you're careful, you should be good, but if you got a little sloppy, wipe off any excess glue with your fingers. Flip it over. We're going to do the same thing from the bottom now. This one, the whole end paper is coming away from the cover. So for this one, I'm actually going to take a paintbrush and put extra glue. That's not the norm. Most books aren't that bad. But this is a really cool little book, so I want to make sure we fix it right the first time. So got a little extra glue in there. Then when you're done with the glue, just in case we're a little sloppy, have a little extra glue where it shouldn't be. We don't want to accidentally glue the book to get to itself. So we're going to take some sheets of wax paper, insert them between the end papers. It's usually good to fold it so you have a nice straight edge. We reuse these sheets of wax paper many times so they're a little ratty. And then that's it. That's all there is to it. Now all we have to do is set it up to dry. So for that, you can use, we have these nice plexi rods, we don't have very many of them, but we'll use those until we run out and then we'll just use more barbecue skewers, which are nice and cheap. So we have plenty of both. We won't be doing huge batches of these at any one time. So what you do is you line up your book, you get your rod or skewer nicely into the hinge on the bottom and the top. Make sure the wet wax paper is all the way in there. And then all we do is we dry it under weight. And typically we're going to use these large blue boxes for our weight. Library of Congress subject headings are also really good for weight for drying books for hinge tightening. <laughs> and then that's it. And the only other thing you have to do is you have to give it a quick look and make sure your book is sitting straight. Because if it's slightly cockeyed or off center, that's exactly how your book is going to dry and it'll be like that forever. And that's it. That's your hinge tightening.